My name is Reed Blinn with Newmark Grub Knight Frank. Today, we're pleased to welcome Chris Fiorentino, president of Westchester University, to our City Biz List interview. Welcome, Chris. Transformational leadership is hard, I think, in any setting. Uh, in higher education, it's, it's even trickier because uh, while people might think of universities as being uh, on the cutting edge, uh, maybe there are, are research endeavors that are, that are on the cutting edge, but they're very status quo oriented. Um, very often you'll find that, that uh, faculty would prefer things to stay just the way they are. And uh, what I've always tried to do is to, is to create a vision for what we could be. Uh, when, when we went through the, the uh, business accreditation, I, I really challenged the faculty. I said, are, are, we, are we doing the best job that we could be doing for our students? Because we are here to educate these people. We are here to support their future success. Could we be doing a better job than we're doing? And that led to some very interesting discussions. And I actually, uh, in, in one meeting where I was getting a lot of resistance and people were saying that they felt that we, we were doing a good job, I, I actually suggested that maybe I was going to get them t-shirts that said, Westchester University, we're good enough. And, and they were very offended by that. And I said, well, what are we going to do about it? And uh, part of my challenge, and again, uh, alluding to some of the entrepreneurship, a lot of it was based on the fact that we never really seemed to have enough resources to do what we needed to do. So I solved the resource problem. I got them plenty of money. And so I took away their complaint about not having the resources. We can't travel to conferences. Uh, we don't get support for our research. And I said, here, here it is. Uh, and, I, and I painted the picture of, of where we needed to, to get to. And um, in a situation like that, you, the advice that I received from, from more experienced persons than, than, than I had been at the time was that you can't launch a new initiative like that uh, only after you get uh, significant buy-in. You, you have to get what you think is the critical mass to get started and you have to get the work and then you have to try to bring people along as you go. And that's what we did. We, we started off, we had a few people who were early ad adopters and uh, over time more people started to get with the program and realize that this was a good idea and then that started to create pressure on, on those who were resistant and eventually the, the group of resistors was smaller than the, the group of supporters and they started to feel more and more lonely and eventually we had everybody pulling in the same direction and at this point uh, the business faculty which was was very resistant to change when we started this discussion uh, 10 12 years ago now has totally embraced this and they they own this accreditation they they own the quality of this program and frankly the new faculty we were recruiting wouldn't be coming here if we didn't have this demonstration of a commitment to quality. Uh, and that really, to me, is, is, is what a leader can do. A leader, uh, if, if an organization is going to change, somebody has to knock it off balance. Somebody has to move it away from its comfortable equilibrium. And that's really what the transform, transformational leader has to do. You have to get people into a position where they're uncomfortable, they're uncomfortable with the way things are, and they're committed to being better. And, and that's what that's what we're working on at Westchester right now. <laughs>